During the Pacific War in Tokyo, 11-year-old Mahito Maki experiences profound loss when his mother, Hisako, perishes in a hospital fire. This tragedy leaves Mahito emotionally scarred and struggling to cope with his grief. The upheaval continues when his father, Shoichi, who owns an air munitions factory, quickly remarries Hisako's sister, Natsuko, who is expecting a child. The suddenness of these events is overwhelming for Mahito, who finds it difficult to accept Natsuko as his new mother, despite her kindness. To escape the devastation in Tokyo, the family moves to Natsuko's rural estate, a place steeped in mystery and magic. Mahito's new home is dominated by a peculiar and haunting tower, once inhabited by Natsuko's granduncle, an architect and wizard. The tower seems to hold secrets that beckon Mahito, and his life takes a turn towards the supernatural when he encounters a strange gray heron. This heron, speaking to him in an eerie manner, hints that Mahito's mother might still be alive and leads him to the tower. However, Mahito's first confrontation with the supernatural world is not without peril. Following a fight at school where he is bullied and subsequently injures himself with a rock, Mahito is further lured by the heron, which now speaks to him directly. The heron's promises of finding his mother entice Mahito into a dangerous quest. He is nearly taken by a supernatural swarm of toads, but is saved by Natsuko who uses a whistling arrow to fend off the creatures. This act of bravery inspires Mahito to craft his own bow and arrow, infusing it with the heron's feather, which grants it the magical properties of true aim. As Mahito delves deeper into the mysteries surrounding him, he reads a book left by Hisako, searching for clues. His reading is interrupted when a mysteriously ill Natsuko disappears into the forest, seemingly in a trance, drawn towards the enigmatic tower. Determined to find answers and save Natsuko, Mihito, along with one of the estate's elderly maids, Kiriko, ventures into the tower. Inside, Mihito is deceived by a watery imitation of his mother, created by the heron. The illusion dissolves at his touch, infuriating Mihito, who then pierces the heron's beak with his arrow, revealing the birdman, a creature trapped within. The wizard, Natsuko's grand-uncle, appears and orders Birdman to guide Mahito and Kiriko as they sink into the floor, descending into an oceanic, otherworldly realm. In this new world, Mahito is rescued from attacking pelicans by a younger version of Kiriko, who is adept at fishing and wields a magic wand capable of creating fire. They catch a giant fish and sell it to bubble-like spirits called Wara Wara, which ascend to the world above to be reborn. This oceanic world is filled with both whimsy and danger, reflecting a dreamlike logic similar to that found in Spirited Away. Here, Mahito meets Himi, a pyrokinetic young woman who protects the Wara Wara from predatory pelicans. A dying pelican reveals that their species was introduced to this world without any food source, making them desperate to survive. Kiriko mediates peace between Mahito and Birdman, and Mahito plugs Birdman's beak, restoring his ability to fly. However, Mahito and Birdman are soon separated by anthropomorphic, man-eating parakeets. Himi saves Mahito and introduces him to the counterpart of the tower in this realm, which contains doors to many worlds. They enter a door leading back to Natsuko's estate and are spotted by Shoichi, but Mahito returns through the door to continue his quest to find Natsuko. Infiltrating the parakeet's kingdom, Mahito discovers Natsuko in a delivery room. She initially rebuffs him, but Mahito acknowledges her as his mother, fostering a new bond. During their escape, Himi incinerates paper creatures attacking them, but all three are rendered unconscious. In a dream, Mahito meets the wizard, Natsuko's granduncle, who is preoccupied with stacking stone blocks that represent their dimension, infused with malice. The wizard requests Mahito to take over the custodianship of this world, but Mahito notices the malice within the blocks and refuses, understanding that he must first embrace those who love him. The climax sees the parakeet king seizing the blocks and attempting to create a perfect world, but his efforts result in failure as the blocks collapse, leading to the world's disintegration. Mahito, Himi, and Birdman escape the collapsing world, reuniting with Natsuko and a young Kiriko. Before leaving, Himi, who is revealed to be Mahito's birth mother, bids farewell to her son, returning to her own time without regrets. As they escape, the parakeets follow them into the real world, 
reverting to ordinary birds and losing their intelligence and bloodlust. Upon returning to the real world, Mahito and his family face an exodus of animals reverting to non-anthropomorphic forms. Birdman advises Mahito to forget his experiences in the magical world, suggesting it is for the best. A charm doll carried by Mahito transforms back into the old Kiriko. Two years later, Mahito moves back to Tokyo with Shoichi, Natsuko, and his new half-sibling.